Inside Mercer Basketball with Coach Bob Hoffman and your host, Rick Cameron. Brought to you by Wild Wing Cafe. Well, hello, everyone. We're here once again to talk Inside Mercer Basketball. Head Coach Bob Hoffman. Coach, it seemed like just yesterday we were taping the first show about to begin a season. Hard to believe uh, just a little over a week left in the regular season. Tournament's just around the corner, and here we are, our last show of the year. Yeah, it seems to go quicker and quicker the more gray hair I have. I understand. I don't know that. if that happens for you. Um, or maybe the more your beard grows. Maybe that's it. I don't, I don't know. know. Okay. I've never seen you with a beard. It's interesting. For yeah, sure. it's interesting. All right. Now, <laughs> the good thing, Coach, Just like uh, this season. The been. good thing, if you're going to uh, finish the season, is to finish playing your best basketball. Yep. And uh, <laughs> lately, the Bears have been playing great. Four wins in a row, this basketball team. And some of those games, dressing only 10 players. Yeah, our guys have been fighting really hard, trying to figure out how to get it done and uh, our staff is every day trying to find a play or a defensive concept that can help us get one more stop or one more basket and it's paying dividends and our guys are buying in and we may be playing the best defense of the whole year right now. Coach, it's an interesting fact for our fans have picked up on it. Uh, the four game winning streak uh, at the beginning of that game one you chose to come on the floor for pregame warm-ups, and you've been doing that since, and we've won every game since then. Yeah, um, I used to do that all the time. Uh, I, I sensed that I felt like that from some reports I had uh, that our warm-ups weren't the way I wanted them to be, ah. and we kind of got lax about it and kind of become a dunk show, which a lot of warm-ups right now because you can dunk. Everybody's yep. showing up early, and guys are into this. I want them focused on the team, not yeah. what they can show, and it not to be about them. And uh, so that's what we've decided to do. And uh, the great thing is our guys have accepted it yeah. and not backed away from it and walked right through it, understanding what I was trying to accomplish. And uh, you're right, it has, it has been good. And really for me, it's been relaxing because those 25 minutes or so, I'm usually sitting in there trying to figure out what we should be running or whatever but the time goes a little yeah. quicker when I'm on the floor. When we go to uh, Chattanooga, then we go to Birmingham to play Safford, both of those games we had leads, it got close in the final minute, but in each of those we showed the perseverance needed to win games on the road this time of the year. We had multiple situations happen and we had multiple players get it done for us. Yeah. And, and you've got to have that if you're going to win on the road, you've got to have that if you're going to win at home. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm just real excited how our guys are growing together and finding those sit situations and uh, being e excited about walking, like I mentioned just a second ago, yeah. stepping into them. And it's been great for us. Uh, I think we're gaining confidence uh, in the midst of that, and that's why we've won four in a row. So many players have stepped up, Coach, but uh, obviously Ross Cummings is just a feel-good story of how he stepped in and provided valuable minutes and valuable points for this team. Yeah, and actually it started against the team we're going to play next uh, at Greensboro after Rion went down. He had a, a great ending to that game, got us a couple threes late, uh, but he is now starting every game and uh, getting about 10 threes up every game yeah. and shooting about 43 or 44%. So uh, it, it's incredible when you think about where he was and now what he's doing. Most people could not do that or wouldn't be ready for their opportunity. And that, that takes a lot of uh, character and it takes a lot of mindset in the right way that you're ready for that moment because most people would be just sulking or pouting or, or complaining or yeah. griping about what they're not doing. And he kept working and when his opportunity came, he's, he's been great ever since. And then coaches, we returned home last night to play VMI, one of our last three home games. Uh, Dimitri Rivers has been getting a little extra publicity as fans have been voting for him to qualify for the slam dunk competition at the end of the season. But Dimitri really had a fine game. Yeah, tell it. everybody what that was. What was the, yeah. where they could go to vote? Well, that would be the hashtag Dark Horse Dunker is a hashtag. You can go to the Mercer Twitter, Twitter site. It's easy for you, sir. Twit and Twitter, as Tweet, you used twit, to say. Twit, but it's uh, certainly a great honor. It's, it's a one-on-one -on -one competition, oh, yeah. 16 guys in the running. And Dimitri's highlight reel yeah, is there. for, for the end of the year, the Final Four. Yeah. They have a college slam dunk contest. We've had a couple guys be in it. We, yeah. We'd love for him to get a chance, but he's been playing great, and uh, he had a tremendous game against VMI. He was uh, hitting threes, getting rebounds, 
uh, was really strong with the ball, made multiple plays for us in that game, no doubt about it. And that qualified him to be our Sonic Player of the Week. No doubt. Week. He was and, uh, just fun to watch. A uh, senior, uh, he's really close to getting 1,000 points, just a few points away from as a career for four seasons. And uh, I hope he has a fantastic finish to his uh, career at Mercer. He's been the kind of young man you want in yeah. your program. He does everything right and is going to graduate with a degree. And, you know, uh, that's what it's all about. Uh, and it comes from a great family. We're really fortunate he's been a part of our program. And then our Marcos Delivery of the Week, Coach. Yeah, Jordan Strawberry just uh, eclipsed the 1,000 point right. and actually eclipsed uh, James Florence moved into third and uh, assist, all-time assist, I believe is right. Yep, yep that's and, correct. And, third. and uh, so he had eight assists to one turnover in that game the other night, so he's moving even closer to number two. I don't know if he'll catch yeah. number two, but uh, great game, and uh, Marco's delivery of the week definitely goes to Jordan Strawberry. And speaking of former players, as they filter in, Jake Gollin is with us this yeah, afternoon. Man, Always good the, to see in Jake. in the audience back over here. Jake Gollin, amazing player for us. Uh, had some big games, including the win over Duke uh, several years ago now. Yeah. I mean, he's an old dude now. He is. So he is. We're, we're, we're but glad he's looking him. good, and he's about to get yeah. married, so life is good for he Jake. He needs to eat some grease. So. He needs to eat some yeah, grease. Yeah. So, all right, we're going to take a break and go to campus to talk to Ryan Johnson. Then we're going to turn right around and talk with Marcus Cohen. And then we'll be back for the final segment here to talk about the end of the season run, get you ready for the SOCON tournament, all that and more when we come back with more Inside Mercer Basketball. the game plan rush into the wild wing cafe and tackle one of our new steakhouse burgers 100 percent angus 100 percent great it's an all-star lineup that can win you tickets to the biggest games of the year where I was looking through the paper and I saw a really good ad from Five Star Ford in Warner Robins. So when I went, I was actually really picky and my salesperson worked with me until I finally found the truck that I liked and it was a black Ford 2011 F-150 XLT Super Crew. I mean, it actually has an EcoBoost, so it's a little bit better on gas and I love it. I would definitely recommend Five Star to all my friends. Sure, you can tell them how fun college is. Concerts on the quad, early morning tailgates, your bearded professor with his suede elbow patches, or you can give someone different answers. So go ahead and get ready for the typical questions, but know that Mercer has given you anything but typical answers. Oh, we're back in Hawkins Arena, going to our student athlete profile now. This time we're going to talk with Ryan Johnson, Jr. out of Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, Ryan, if you would, for our fans, kind of share with us before coming to Mercer, mm -hmm. what it was like growing up in Greensboro, North Carolina, before uh, you took on the role of a college basketball player. Um, it was very it was very nice. Um, I was raised in a house with just my mother and um, three other brothers. So, um, you know, that's how I was raised in a public, um, public school in every set setting. Really, um, really fun. You know, um, a lot of I played basketball my whole life. Um, always played basketball from AAU to, you know, to um, rec league. So, I just most of my life I grew up playing basketball, which most folks in North Carolina do. I would yeah. imagine. All right, and then at some point you directed your attention toward Mercer. Mm -hmm. What were the steps that set the stage uh, for you coming here? Um, I actually um, out of high school I went to Rutgers University. Um, I transferred and then I came to um, Mercer, but. I felt as though Mercer was just a great program, um, a great academic school, and basketball-wise was phenomenal. Coach Hoffman is, um, I feel as though, one of the best coaches around doing things. And um, he was a guy that I can actually trust, a man of God, and um, he's a really great guy. So it, it brought me here to Mercer University. All right, basketball is a big part of your life this time of the year, practically everything you do. Yeah. But uh, if you're off the basketball court and you have some free time, off season, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit more to get to know you. What do you like to do when you're not playing basketball? Oh, when I'm not playing basketball, um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a family person, so I, I love being around my mom, uh, my brothers, also my grandma. Um, I like to hang out with them more so. Um, just just really down to earth, you know, um, really like a homebody, body, so I like hanging out. And, um, 
that's really about it. All right, tell us about the experiences you've had since being to Mercer. I know you guys had a yeah. busy summer. Mm -hmm. uh, what sort of uh, things that maybe have changed your life, your perception about life since you've been here? Um, it was definitely an honor and a blessing to go to the Dominican Republic. Um, one of the most humbling experiences of life, um, just to see how those people were less fortunate and we're fortunate to have just a simple thing as water. So. Um, Honestly, it just opened my eyes and showed me how we should never take, you know, anything for granted because those people there would, would love to have the things that we have. So it was an honor and um, a really great experience. Yeah. I know that uh, Coach Hoffman, uh, I've worked with him 10 years, and I know chemistry is a big part for mm -hmm. his teams. Tell us about the chemistry and camaraderie of this team this year. Oh, man, it's, it's, it's very tight. It's like a brotherhood. Um, it's, it's, it's like us guys. It's like we, we feed off one of another. Um, we always do things together on and off the court. Um, it's really like, like I said, it's like it's a, it's a group of brothers that you just, it's, it's unbreakable, you know. Um, we have each other backs through the tough times, also through the great times. So yeah. it's like the chemistry that we have right now, it's feel like, I mean, honestly, we feel like, you know, that nobody can come in between us or break anything that we have good going on. Tell us what strengths you bring to the mm -hmm. table uh, for this Mercer basketball program and then mm -hmm. maybe some areas of your game that you're working to improve on. Um, strengths, I feel as though just trying to be a voice, I mean, just trying to encourage the team, you know, in, in, in any way, shape or form, just trying to uplift the guys. and. Um, for the most part, just encourage them, you know, through the tough times that we may have. Also, um, whenever I'm out on the court, I feel as though I'm able to um, help us rebound in the rebounding area and also, you know, attack the basket, finish around the basket. And, um, I just feel as though, I mean, I just try to give all I can to the team, whatever I can do, however I can affect the game or affect the team, I'm, I'm willing to do so. I know since you've been here last year, we had a couple of games very close, could have gone the other way. Mm -hmm. Now here we are getting very close to conference play. Mm -hmm. uh, in your mind and in your heart, uh, how do you feel? What's your gut feeling mm -hmm. of what this team can accomplish once we get to the games that count? Oh yeah, um, last year we definitely stumbled at the end. We, it was a lot of games that we should have won. But this year, I feel like you said, the chemistry is such a big factor. I feel like last year was just God's first year, including myself, first year here on the team. So now it's two years. We have a year underneath us. And like you said, the Dominican Republic, that trip brought so much chemistry amongst us. So now I feel as though we're tighter than ever. And that's just going to help us finish those tough games because we've been through tougher moments together. And now I feel as though this is, I mean, it's nothing that can stop us. Hawkins Arena has become quite an environment for home basketball games. We pack it out, we've got all the, the t game type atmosphere. What's it been like for you playing in front of 3,000 plus fans here on any given game? It's amazing. Our fans is amazing. Um, we have amazing, um, we, ha we just have an amazing fan base, you know. People love to come and support us. Even last year when we were going through tough times, they were still here to support us. This year has been amazing. Um, I mean, we can't ask for more. The student section is doing good. The boosters are doing good. Like, it feels as though it's always, it's a home feeling, you know. It's never a nervous feeling. You always feel at home, and it's a great, it's honestly a great honor to, you know, play in front of these fans. Ryan, what are you majoring in at Mercer? And mm -hmm. uh, when you do hang the sneakers up, what do you hope to do professionally one day? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm communications major right now, but whenever it's all said and done, I want to impact some kids' life. I'll honestly be, become a basketball coach one day, you know, and um, just, just give back and be a mentor and be a positive influence like Coach Hoffman has been in people's lives and kind of want to do the same thing. I have purchased uh, five Jeeps here at Five Star. And my sister-in-law from Florida actually came up and purchased a uh, Jeep here. The way you're treated, the uh, satisfaction, the service, just the overall good experience. And, you know, for me to come back that many times speaks for itself. As a business owner, you need to choose the financial direction that's best for you to find a clear path to growth and success. At bb and we support businesses of all sizes with personal service and advice, sharing the sound financial knowledge we've gained over more than 140 years so you can move ahead with confidence. Talk to us today about your business goals. bb and sharing knowledge for a brighter direction. Hey, all you Bear fans, I know we're having a great time at this game. It's exciting, fun. We're getting after it. If you want to have a good time after this game, you need to go over to Margarita's Mercer Village. They have amazing Mexican food, and they're going to take care of you. All kinds of specials. You can find what you want. Look at my body. It's working good for me. Come on over and check them out at Mercer Village Margarita's.
back at Hawkins Arena. We'll continue with Inside Mercer Basketball. Going to uh, continue with our segment. We'll get to know our players a little bit better. Today it's our guard from Tampa, Florida, Marcus Cohen. Marcus, if you would, kind of share with our fans. Uh, here you are from Tampa, Florida. You're in Macon now playing basketball. How did you end up here at Mercer? Um, it, was, it was actually a pretty complicated deal. Like, I was, I was the first, like, I was in, I actually wasn't sure how, like, what college I was going to go to at first. But then once I came on my visit after we won the state finals, um, like, the coaches were recruiting me very heavily, and they were watching the game, like, some of the game film during, during practice. Yeah. So I was like, that's big time. Like, that shows that they're committed to yeah. me. And then once I came on campus, I just had a good relationship with all the guys. And they were very, like, very cool people. And I got along with the coaches and just loved the campus. And yeah. then I have family in Warner Robins, like, 25 minutes away. So that made it even, like, made it feel like home. Absolutely. I know you had a great high school career. Did you find time for anything else but basketball growing up in Tampa? Is that pretty much it? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's, that was my everyday thing. Uh, so. talk, tell us about the transition from high school basketball to immediately getting playing time here at Division One basketball. How difficult was that? Um, it's, I wouldn't say it was too difficult, but like it's just a different pace and speed uh, with the shot clock. It makes the game go a lot faster, a lot more possessions. But I, I like it better than high school because it's more quicker. Just have to be ready to go once you step on the floor. Were you optimistic after telling the coaches you'd come here? I know all uh, student athletes coming out of high school would love to get playing time, but have you surprised yourself the amount of playing time that you've received thus far? I really actually did surprise myself. I wasn't expecting to get as many minutes as I am, yeah. but with the coaches, they've been, they've trusted me. I've gained their trust, so it's just pretty good, pretty fun. All right, two-part question. I, I know I've had been afforded the opportunity of seeing your God-given talents that you have, but what do you feel uh, your abilities at this point in your career, what do you bring to the table to help this basketball team? Um, just a high IQ and getting guys going. I like to get like a lot of assists, nice passes. That's I just have a good feel for the game, knowing where everybody's at, and then energy on defensive end yeah. just to get our team going. Is there a part of your game that you're working on more than others when you're out here one-on-one -on -one or on your own? What part of your game do you want to improve? My jump shot, trying to get that more consistent so I can be more of a threat on the court. All right. As a freshman, uh, obviously it's always a big deal to uh, join the chemistry of that team. How has it gone with the veteran players we've got, seniors on down, and blending in with this basketball team? Um, they work with us a lot, and it's just we we're with, the, with each other pretty much 24-7, so it's just getting to know their game, what their tendencies are, and just they get to know mine as well, so it just works out really good. All right, have you picked up uh, already that this team uh, maybe lost a couple of games last year they thought they should have won, and there's a conference run here and Southern Conference play coming up. Have you picked up on that sense of how badly it seems as if this team wants to win a conference championship? Um, yeah, like from last year, I, coaches told me about like how many close games they lost, and I'm just, from where I came from in high school, I didn't really use, lose many close games, so I'm just trying to bring that attitude and just make sure everybody's ready to go. And I, we, are, we definitely play with a chip on our shoulder. So I can tell that we're ready. We want to win so bad. Like we'll do whatever it takes. And that's what I love about this team. All right. Uh, there's a lot of young people that watch these programs. I know you're only a freshman, but still, there's probably some other guys saying, my, oh, my, there's a guy that's a freshman, Marcus Cohen, is playing a lot of basketball. What advice would you give to fourth, fifth graders that might be wanting to sit in your chair one day? Just keep working. Don't let anybody like tell you that you're not good enough. Just use it. I use that as motivation. Because when I was coming up like fourth and fifth grade, I had a lot of negative energy around me. But just my family and my friend group, they just kept me going, just kept me level-headed. And that helped me out a lot. All right, have you blocked in on your major and what degree you're pursuing and what other than basketball you might want to do one day? Um, I'm a sports marketing analytics major. So I just want to be around sports as much as possible because I love it, loving the game. So with that major, um, like since we have a lot of opportunities and my, in, with that business major, like a lot of uh, sports teams like the Atlanta Falcons, Atlanta Hawks, Jacksonville Jaguars, like they know a lot of people. So just getting, building relationships with them so I can like have a chance to work for one of those organizations. That's gonna be probably what I'll do after the sounds, ball sounds bouncing. Sounds great, Marcus. We're glad you're with us. Marcus Cohen at Star in the Making. Just mark that down as a freshman.
We're going to be back with more Inside Mercer Basketball in just a moment. Stay with us. Drawing. Introducing Droid DNA by HTC. It's not an upgrade to your phone, it's an upgrade to yourself. Service department is out of sight. You can pull in the, the uh, garage over there and they will meet you before you cut the engine off. They know you by name. How can I help you, Mr. Ross? I can't, you know, get that kind of service no place else but here at Five Star. All of my friends, I always tell them what good service you get at Five Star. I love to talk, and I like to tell the truth. For over 20 years, Mercer has relied on Forsyth Street Orthopedics. Their team of Dodgers help keep our players on the court. As a graduate of Mercer and a partner of Forsyth Street Orthopedics, we are proud to sponsor and take care of Mercer athletes. We work with Mercer Sports Medicine to return our injured athletes to competition as soon as their injuries allow and hopefully protect them from further injury. For Scythe Street Orthopedics, getting better together. Go Bears! I saw a couple of guys uh, in those last two interviews that have helped this team throughout the year. It seems like, Coach, as we come down to the stretch, the final four games of the regular season right. into tournament play, yeah, we're down to 10, but those 10 are really giving you everything they've got in practice, and it's showing on the floor in a game. Yeah, I think they're really together. They understand what they're up against. All those guys are contributing. In fact, uh, Big Mac got his first block of his career, so that was a huge thing we celebrated after the game. Uh, yeah. The other night against BMI, our guys were excited for him. And uh, you're, you're right. I mean, it's this time of year. Uh, I mean, if you haven't won the regular season, which we're not, we don't have a chance to, and the points toward trying to win the conference tournament, which historically is only one team got to go. So uh, now you're just focusing on trying to get better, figuring out little things that might could help you, and uh, keep pushing every day to be the best you can individually and collectively. And that's that's what we're doing right now. And I think that's why we've been able to be as successful as we has re ha have recently. Well, as we take a look at the uh, tournament coming up, obviously the men's bracket gets started with uh, 7, 8, 9, and 10 on Friday, and then into Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, whereas the women's Thursday, Friday, right. and the championship game Sunday. But uh, ETSU and UCNG look to be battling for that number one spot. Then it gets real interesting. Furman, Walford, Mercer, and Western Carolina, all in the middle of the pack. They can go anywhere from third to six. Yeah, it, it'll be interesting to see how it finishes. We have a few games left and uh, I'd love for us to make a final push. We've made a little push here and just toward the end now. If we, if we finish the season the way we're trending right now, it'd be great. Yep. And uh, you, that momentum going into the tournament, no matter where you end up seated, uh, once you step on that neutral floor and you have confidence like we're uh, getting right now. Yeah. I mean, yeah. uh, it's amazing how we're uh, completely different, I think, in a lot of different areas on the floor than we were even a month ago. And uh, that can translate to amazing things in the spring. Coach, you mentioned the confidence factor as we take a look with the tournament just around the corner. You want to go in, obviously, on a winning streak, so to right. speak, playing your best basketball, having that confidence level. But any other thing as a head coach that you feel like you've got to have your team ready for, you've got some guys that have never played in that environment, but what's the most important thing knowing that uh, Mercer is ready for the SOCON tournament? Well, I think some of it's conditioning and trying to, trying to balance playing as many games we have in a short amount of time, keeping them rested, but at the same time running them some. And that's hard to figure out that balance. Um, so that once we get into that, you're going to have to win three games or four games in four days, three games in three days. Uh, conditioning is going to matter. And then uh, just being able to get some rest along the way. So. Uh, even the other night against VMI, trying to figure out when to set guys. We had a bit, a little bit of lead, get nervous as a coach, uh, when to do that or when not to do that. And uh, <clears throat> I love those situations. I hope we have a few more of those right, before right. it's all said and done. But uh, I think that's the most critical thing, making sure our mind's right and our bodies are rested and we're ready to compete at the highest level we possibly can. Coach, I know you 
don't just coach winning basketball and becoming a better basketball player. You are concerned with the overall development of a young man. As this is the last show of the year, kind of put in perspective the entire year and how this team uh, collectively and as individuals, some of the highlights uh, the last minute or so. Well, I, I think the, the main thing is when you go all the way back to the summer and the mission trip we went on uh, with Mercer on Mission, the Dominican, and all the things, speaking at schools, going to upward basketball programs, coaching like they did the other night, uh, you know, off campus things that we're, our guys have been involved in and willing to be a part of. Uh, that's the things. I mean, you, you're going to take away the camaraderie and the opportunity to uh, compete at a high level. But I think once you're done playing, you're going to remember all those special moments you had off campus, trying to make an impact forever. And uh, I hope that's what they leave yeah. leave with. Yeah. You know, you want to get a degree, you want to play basketball high level, but you want to figure out uh, what kind of man you're going to be and can you make a difference in this world with who you are and, and what you're going to represent for the rest of your life. And also, Coach, as we approach the end of the regular season, two more home games as we speak, we certainly are indebted to our fans that come out uh, been game great. in and game out. Yeah, they've been great, and uh, we've had huge crowds. We hope we have a couple more big crowds as we finish. Uh, and we are also excited about what the women have been doing on a big run and hope they finish undefeated going into conference tournament play. They've been doing a great job. And the last thing, Coach, we'll just encourage everyone. We've talked many, many times. A great venue is Asheville for the tournament. Uh, for those folks that have not made their plans, it's time to do so. Four or five days of nothing but great basketball action. You need to head that way. Yeah, we need to punch a couple tickets. Yeah. They have Mercer on them to the NCAA tournament. Men's and women's, how fun would that be? It could would it be definitely fun. happen? Uh, it could definitely happen. Coach, it's been a blast this year. Thanks for sharing it with yeah, me. Man. Now let's go Thanks, uh, punch a couple of tickets saying how fun in Nashville. Yeah, let's do it. Thanks, go Bears. Thanks for being with us this year. We'll be back again next year when we return with more Inside Mercer Basketball. Atta baby.